Hello, I welcome you to this video where we want to look at the ECZ GCE Mathematics Paper 1 for the year 2022. So particularly we want to look at question 18 under the topic of variations. So the question is as follows. Y varies directly as X and inversely as the square of Z and y equal to 8 when x equal to 4 and z equal to 1. Find the part A value of the constant of variation. So how do we interpret this information? So in this question we have got two parts. There is the direct variation as well as the indirect variation. So how do we come up with an equation which is going to indicate the two variations that we have here? So for our solutions, here is what we are supposed to do. So we are going to say for part A, the first thing that we need to come up with is an equation. Okay. And we are going to form the equation of variation which is going to be y varies. Okay directly as x so directly as x is going to be like this okay and this same y varies inversely or indirectly as the square so it's going to be over as the square of z so we are going to put z down here okay as the square of z in this order i hope it's making sense from your end and then next we need to understand that there is a constant variation which is taking place in here so this is now going to give us y is equal to we multiply this by k which is for the constant variation so kx over z power 2 so this is what is going to be obtained and then we can move on and find the value of k because we've been told when y is equal to 8 x equal to 4 and y sorry and z equal to negative, positive 1 so to find the value of the constant variation meaning k we are supposed to use these values for x y and z so i'm going to substitute we've been told y equal to 8 so we're going to have 8 for y equal to k is going to be maintained then x we are going to have a 4 over z equal to 1 so we are going to have 1 squared and this shall be 8 equal to k times 4. That is 4k. Okay. 4k then we have 1 squared is simply 1. So this is what we are going to get. The interest for us is to find the value of k which is representing the constant variation. So we can simply divide on both sides. 4 and then we shall remain with k equal to positive 2 or you can put it like this it's one and the same so we are done with this, this with finding the value of the constant variation and meaning our equation now has changed to y equal to where there is k we substitute by 2 we are going to have 2 2 x over z squared we can move to the second part, which is asking us to find the value of y when x equal to 9 and z equal to 3. Value of y. So for part b, we are going to say b, we are going to say y is equal to x, we shall put this. So it will be 2 times 9 over for z equal to 3, it will be 3 squared. So this shall come to 2 by 9, we get 18 over 9 from 3 squared. It's going to give us a 9. So y is going to be equal to 2. That is the value of y. Coming to part C, again we are still using the same equation. y equal to 2x over z squared. Now this time the question is asking us to find the value of z when y equal to 3. So for y, we shall substitute 3. 
paper. Sorry, I hope you are able to see from here. For y, we put 3 equal to 2. Then for x, it is 54. So we put 54 here. This is being divided by z squared. Okay? So next we can just simplify. And we're going to have 3 is equal to, we multiply 2 by 54. We are going to get 108 over z squared. So now we can, because this is a fraction, we can as well make this part as a fraction. And then we simply do cross multiplication. So we are going to have 3 times z squared. We are going to have 3 z squared equal to 108. Okay, and then our interest is finding the value of z. So we can divide throughout by 3. Okay, and z squared is going to be equal to. So we get 36, and then we find the square root of 36. So this will go and we'll make z equal to positive or negative 6. So this is what we are going to get for this question. Thank you. See you in the next video.